Time for the Suzuki Swift final. It's Luke Constantine, James Constantine, and Max Weatherly on the front row of the grid. Then David Watt, James Chisman, Anso Pitkinen, and Don McLeod, sadly not making the grid by the looks of things, owing to some mechanical dramas. Green light on and go. Good start from Constantine. Great from Weatherly. Look at Chisman in the yellow machine trying to come up from the second row of the grid. Three into one for the first corner. It's going to be Luke Constantine that leads the way from uh, James Constantine, then in second position. Then it's Max Weatherly into third place. James Chisman into P4. And looks like uh, Anto Pickenden there was able to get away pretty nicely. And she holds on to uh, P5 as it stands now. So coming through the gravel section, we go for the first time there. James Watt also not too far adrift of the rest of the field as they come through in towards the straight for the first time of asking then. So Luke Constantine has the advantage and that's to the surprise of absolutely nobody here in the paddock. He has uh, pretty much dominated today, uh, finished second in the first heat and won the two heats that followed and as such sits at the top of the order or sat at the top of the order hence why he starts on pole position here for this final and you can see the gap he's already pulled out over James Constantine in second position Max Weatherly now closing up onto the back of James there is an opportunity going to present itself here for Max Weatherly we'll have to wait and find out I wonder whether the joker lap is going to be a strategic call for the Suzuki Swift driver and whether that will prove to be the uh, catalyst the boost that he needs to try and get himself ahead of James Constantine for second position into the hairpin bend we go there almost looks like they're kind of crawling through there doesn't it because these machines have to take it so slowly but they get on the power onto the loud pedal and problems there by the looks of things for the number 88 of uh, David Watt who is slowing on the back straight so that's an issue for Watt sadly either that's a mechanical or there is something else that's gone awry and either way it's put him right now at the back of the field and out of contention so that's a shame to end his final in such uh, disappointing circumstances and sadly he will drop right to the back of the field and presumably pull off the circuit meanwhile the start of lap two sees Max Weatherly going joker then so James Chisman takes over third place temporarily hasn't made his joker yet though has Chisman so he goes up into third position but you can imagine that Max Weatherly will be the driver who re-inherits that place once Chisman makes his joker in the 2-2-2 machine but Luke Constantine still out in front in this race in the pink and black machine coming down the back straight in towards the left hander a little bit wide coming into there but able to gather it up pretty nicely and these machines they're all about momentum there's not much power to them it's all about how much speed you can carry through the corners and as you can see that Luke and James Constantine have got that to art nail to an absolute T so halfway stage then in this final for the Suzuki Swift into the left-hander of the first turn we go onto the gravel section. Does anybody go Joker this time around? Yep, Luke Constantine, the race leader, goes Joker. The number six, as does James Constantine there as well. So those two emerge. Where are they going to emerge? It's ahead of James Chisman and James Constantine just getting himself ahead of Max Weatherly there as well. Chisman, I remind you, has not made his Joker lap yet. So he's up into second place, was quite close for the race lead but he's out of sequence compared to everybody else. Max Weatherly, meanwhile, has jokered and has um, emerged behind James Constantine there. So that's not good at all for Max Weatherly, not what he'll have wanted. He wants to get that joker out of the way to see whether he can get the undercut on James Constantine, but sadly, it proved not to be the case for the number 23, and now it's gonna to have to be an on-track pass if he's gonna find his way through. That, by the looks of things, is James Watt who, uh, sorry David Watt I should say, who continues on the circuit going rather slowly it must be said. James Chisman goes joker then from the podium positions. Where is he going to emerge in relation to the rest of the field? It'll be behind the top three certainly and indeed he slots back into fourth position. So it's now as you were before the jokers. It's James Constantine from Luke Constantine, from Max Weatherly, from James Chisman but second, third and fourth place are closer than they were before their jokers. So I wonder whether that is going to present an opportunity for some overtaking action. They all spread out on the straight, but coming in towards the tight and twisty section, that is where these drivers seem to close up because, of course, these drivers have got different strengths and different weaknesses at different parts over the course of the lap. And as such, some might be quicker in the tighter technical sections, others might be faster in the faster and flowing sections. And this circuit really is one of those tracks of two halves. The first section is all full of technical corners, really tight, really twisty. Not good at all if you're in a longer wheelbase car, as we've seen throughout some of the uh, other categories here of racing for round four. 
but if you're in one of these very nimble Suzuki Swifts, it can really provide very close racing. And it's got to be said that James Constantine and Max Weatherly doing a fantastic job, respectively, of soaking up the pressure from the driver behind. The race leader, of course, of Luke Constantine doesn't have to worry so much about that. A three and a half second advantage he has near enough over his nearest rival of James Constantine then. So on to the start of the final lap we go for the final of the Suzuki Swifts. Downing towards the first corner, Luke Constantine has the advantage, has the race lead. And coming through the gravel section, he goes for the, first, the final time in this final then. So it's as you were for second, third and fourth place. No moves being made. They're not really close enough to mount a challenge at this point. And you could try something, a bit of a Dan Dare move up the inside. But to be honest, you're probably going to end up coming off second best. You can see they all concertina right up through the hairpin bend. But again, no opportunity presenting itself for any moves to be made unless you get a bit forceful on the brakes. But that can often cost you more than you may gain. So. What can we say about Luke Constantine? Well, he has led commandingly over the course of round four, and he comes across the line to win the final for the Suzuki Swifts in Pembrey. Over the tow line he co comes. James Constantine finishes second. Max Weatherly third. James Chisman in fourth position. Anto Pickenham will take fifth place, and David Watts will finish two laps down on the rest of the field, but does take the chequered flag in sixth position, crucially there as well, and get some good championship points.